Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the review for the Lenovo HW01 Smart Band which is a budget oriented fitness uh, band that can track your steps and also it has a heart rate meter and looks like Lenovo is targeting the Mi Band too because the pricing in India is 1999 for this smart uh, fitness band which is exactly similar to the Mi Band 2 and I had reviewed the Mi Band 2 last year and when I reviewed it I said this is one of the best uh, budget oriented fitness ba uh, band that you can get and I have been using this uh, Lenovo band now for about 10 days and let's see if this Lenovo band can beat this uh, Mi Band 2. So let's have a closer look at this Lenovo smart fitness band. So this is the band that I'm wearing and uh, if you notice by default the display is off uh, like this but when you flick your wrist like this it shows you the time in this orientation let me first show you the band itself physical overview then i'll go over the other aspects and we'll also compare it with the mi band uh, too because the pricing is almost similar both of them sell for 1999 in india and the first thing that i liked about this band is uh, uh, the quality of the silicon rubber strap uh, it's more supple and soft compared to uh, the Mi Band so it's a lot more comfortable and uh, this is like the watch the strap so you can easily actually wear it uh, so that is one thing I like and the band is actually attached to the strap itself unlike the Mi Band 2 where the module is uh, sort of detachable this comes out and this one it's attached to the strap itself which is a pro and a con in itself and one thing uh, regarding uh, the charging is uh, you notice this flap over here this opens and uh, when you open this this reveals the micro usb uh, slot and you can use it to charge it uh, so this is again a good thing and a bad thing the good thing is that you can charge it with any of your smartphone uh, charger because most of them are micro usb so it's not a proprietary cable uh, that you get and by the way regarding the unboxing and what you get in the box i've already posted uh, that video on the hindi channel link for that will be there essentially you just get this band and one micro usb uh, cable in the box you don't get a charger so you have to use your smartphone chargers to charge it and if you notice on the bottom you also have a heart rate uh, sensor so this is a flap and after charging it you have to close it uh, hence in terms of water resistant um, they don't call it uh, they it is having ip rating but it is not as water resistant as the Mi band because of this flap you have to be careful i did uh, put water on this and it worked but again uh, regarding waterproofing it's not advisable to go swimming with this one so that is one thing you have to note but again splashes with water and stuff it sustains it uh, so that's the biggest difference and uh, one uh, uh, thing that i uh, found immediately differentiating between the mi band 2 and uh, this one is in terms of heart rate sensor i feel the heart rate sensor is a lot more accurate on this uh, lenovo band that is what i have uh, noticed moving to the functionality uh, we have a single uh, button over here you just tap in to move between the, the settings let me actually show you let the display just go out and then we'll tap so this is not a touch area just here we this is the touch area and if you tap this uh, as you notice you see the time the first option second it shows you the number of steps that you have uh, moved this day and this is the heart rate sensor you have to wear it it gives a timer and now it's going to uh, test your heart rate it takes about 15 uh, to 25 seconds and again as you can see it's a led that uh, uh, it again you have to wear it to get the readings and the good thing is that for the heart rate it automatically checks the heart rates every 15 minutes so you don't have to do it manually and this is the amount of uh, calories that i have burned and like every other smart band uh, you have to install a companion app on your smartphone uh, for this to work perfectly let me actually show you and uh, that is the lenovo smart band uh, this is the one that we have and it gives you a splash screen if you go back yeah. Uh, this is the default layout that you get and uh, it shows you the number of steps that you have walked uh, uh, today and it's syncing already the syncing was uh, very fast you don't have to worry and the pairing process was also very quick again i have talked about that in the unboxing video link for that will be in the show notes and if you tap here it uh, shows you the history of number of steps that you walk per day you can just tap in and get to that so been using it for the last 10 days and apart from that uh, if you swipe here it shows you your uh, sleep tracking also 
And regarding sleep tracking, uh, again, I uh, like even the Mi Band 2, uh, if you take a nap in the afternoon, I tried once, it does not track. So it tracks the sleep only at uh, night. And another thing that I have noticed is that uh, if you get up, uh, let's say, uh, in the morning to go to the bathroom for about even two minutes, then it uh, thinks that you have woken up. And if you go back to sleep, it won't track. So that is one thing that I have noticed and I've noticed it multiple times. Uh, but again, uh, if you don't get get up uh, while you're sleeping it tracks the sleep fairly accurately as you can see again uh, this is the sleep tracking and it also automatically tracks the heart rate while you are sleeping and uh, let's just go out of this and if you swipe here uh, it uh, actually shows you the heart rate uh, and as i mentioned it automatically uh, tracks your heart rate every 15 minutes you don't have to do anything so this is the heart rate uh, that it has tracked and it also gives you graphs like this over time so in terms of heart rate i would say it is fairly accurate unlike the mi band 2 for me personally the mi band 2 heart rate sensing was uh, fairly inaccurate so this is the app that you get with this one and uh, apart from this you can also set up uh, other stuff for example alarms uh, are there option to set up alarms is also there on this band so that's what it is regarding the app the app is uh, fairly simple but gets the job done i would say now moving to uh, another thing uh, you can control quite a few things with this uh, uh, one let me actually show you let me just invoke a music uh, player for example this is wink music and once you start tapping uh, this let me put the phone aside because it's not going to track yeah uh, you can tap this second tap uh, steps uh, this is your heart rate this is how much you've walked uh, calories burnt and uh, this is the music tracking if you just leave it for a couple of seconds now you can actually uh, cycle the music when, once you tap in it moves like this but it's not taking any action for example i want to change the track let's i'll just tap it here like this and i'll hold on to this for about two seconds and as you can see it has changed the track I don't want to play it due to copyright reason. So you can control music via this. And another thing is that, let me just go back out of this. You have to wait and it goes uh, away. Uh, so you can control your music uh, using this uh, smart band. So that's a nice option and it works fairly well, I would say. And let's just go back. You have to hit this to go back, hold it for about two seconds. And now this is in the find my phone mode. And if I press, as you can see, my phone is vibrating. I've put it on silent, otherwise it would have beeped. So that find my phone option is also there on this uh, band. So that's uh, regarding the functionality. It doesn't offer us a lot of functionality. And, and if it is uh, paired with your uh, Bluetooth device and it's near, whenever you're getting a call, it just shows that also on the screen. So very simple functionality, but what it does, I feel it does uh, pretty well. And considering the price point of this band for about 2000, I feel it's a good band if you don't want to spend a lot yes there are other bands like uh, uh, what do you say fitbit etc but they do cost a lot so how does it compare to this me band too. As I have uh, mentioned earlier, in terms of comfort, I definitely feel uh, this Lenovo band, this, uh, uh, what do you say, the silicone rubber strap is a lot more comfortable. So in terms of comfort, I feel uh, it's better than the Mi Band 2. And also one place where I like it better than the Mi Band 2 is in terms of heart rate sensor. The heart rate sensor uh, looks to be more accurate on this uh, Lenovo band compared to the Mi Band 2. But in terms of battery life, definitely the Mi Band 2 gets a lot more battery life almost twice in my testing this gets approximately about seven to eight days of battery life per charge whereas the mi band 2 in my testing when i tested it last year it got me almost 15 to 17 days per charge so if heart rate tracking is very important to you then this lenovo band is much more accurate compared to the uh, what do you say mi band too. And also I like the fact that yes, uh, it is having a micro USB uh, port so you can charge it easily with your existing charger. Whereas on the Mi Band 2, there is a proprietary cable that you get with this Mi Band 2 and I actually lost it. That's the reason I'm not able to charge this. So again, that is one more plus point uh, with the Lenovo Mi Band 2. Again, both of the trackers are actually very good. And in terms of the price to performance, what they are giving, I feel these are very good tracker. This uh, Lenovo Band is sold in India via Flipkart for 1999 
and this Mi Band 2 is sold via Mi.com for the same price. Again, I have already posted the full in-depth review for the Mi Band 2 last year. Link for that video will be there in the YouTube show notes. I hope you found this uh, video review helpful. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.